What's going on everybody? It's Cody here for another video and I'm working on my S2000 today. Number one, I just gotta say, <laughs> I'm starting this video like right in the middle. Oh my god, like so, I ordered new wheels and tires for my S2000 and I got them from Fitment Industries. One, good service from them, good pricing, happy with the product, anything like that. I'm starting this video kind of in the middle of all this because FedEx screwed me over. Uh, I haven't gotten a tracking number. I thought they were gonna get here way later. I decided to come home on time for work today. Just, I'm so glad I did because I got home. These people left my wheels on the front stoop of my house, right near the sidewalk. Nobody signed for them. Nobody told me they were here. Somebody could have just swooped up brand new wheels and tires. So I'm super pissed about it, but I'm glad I was home when I did. So I got them inside. Um, like I said, the reason why I say I'm in the middle is because I do have to inspect them. So I already opened them up. So thankfully there's no damage. But that being said, enough talking. Let me go ahead and show you what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I took my wheels out of the package and boom, here they are. Oh my God. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I went with the Inky PF01s and I went with a pretty aggressive setup. I mean, just look at the lip. Oh my God. So I am just in love with these wheels, how they came out. So quick side note, I ordered these from Fitment Industries and I gotta say, very, very good review. Um, I went and also got the chromatic coating on my wheels. I don't, I mean, I can't tell that they're on there, but it's supposed to make it easier when you clean your wheels. And I mean, it was cheap, so why not? Let's go ahead and do it. But you know, they didn't come in and damage or anything like that. So very, very exciting. And they also sent me a little bit of swag. So again, you know, Fitment Industries, I would recommend them. They got here pretty quick. But that being said too, so I went ahead and went with these 17 by 9 wheels in the front. I went with a 245, I'm sorry, 225, 45, 17 tire. And in the rear, I went with a 255, 40, 17. I just want to make sure everybody knows all the specs because, dude, you know how long it took me to find specs when you get these wheels on. But enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and build the rest of the wheel package and throw it on the car and show you what it looks like. Alrighty, you guys, as you can see, I just put them on, and God, oh my God. I really, in my personal opinion, think I had selected the best wheel for my personal car, and it just looks so good. That lip just, mmm. And I just love how much the rear tire looks aggressive, and the front tire, it just, ah. I, I, I'm just in love with my car again. So that being said, um, one thing I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and put these specs in the description because I want to get the full specs out there. So that being said, if you want this exact wheel and tire setup, I can show you what to get. But enough said, let me go ahead and get this car off the jack stands and we'll show you how it looks. You don't know fear until you've been in this situation. Ready everybody, I got everything reinstalled and here's how it looks and here's what I did. So again, I trimmed that up, had it tuck around the side of the intake and put it back in the factory location so it looks pretty good. Just gotta plug this up and get a clamp for that so I'll run to the store and get that done. I mean overall, engine bay's looking pretty damn good so I'm pretty happy with that. Now the funny part, I'm gonna take all this back off because I found somebody who is going to powder coat my valve cover. I'm gonna get it powder coated the same color as my car in yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and rip that off, get it powder coated, throw it back on and I'll show you all the results. Alrighty y'all, so I just got back from picking up the new valve cover after getting it powder coated and man, Look at how good this came out. Look at that, like it's literally, it's almost the same shade, but it's spoon yellow, and it just came out so good. He did a great job. But enough of this, like, oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing on. Alrighty y'all, it's the next day, and I got the new valve cover on with a fresh gasket, and just look at how good it came out. Seriously, this really changes the entire look of my engine bay, and I'm super happy that I did this. God, I love this car. Alrighty, you guys, so good news is I got the car off the jack stands, and then also I had another part show up today unexpected, and I was gonna do an unboxing, but they showed up while I was at work, and they didn't let me know they were here, and I had to check it for damage, so I already opened it, but I went ahead and put the box kind of back together just for this video. So that being said, um, as you can tell right there, I took my hood off. That being said, let me show you what I got. Alrighty guys, here it is, and I can't even hold my excitement in. God, <laughs> look at this. Oh, so happy to get this on the S2000s. So I can't wait to go ahead and get it on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the box and go ahead and test fit it onto the hood right there, and I'll show you how it looks. Alrighty everybody, I'm pretty much just putting everything back together, and <laughs> look at this. 
Oh my God. Alrighty guys, I have everything done. I just washed the car and it's good to go and just look at how good this car looks now. And I gotta say, this Saibon hood, it fit perfectly. And also I love that I have these little yellow accents for the washers. Man, I am just so happy with how this car came out. That being said guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here since we did the wheels and the carbon hood. I just love how this S2000 is coming along. But check out the next few videos because I just got confirmed shipping for some other parts that I can't say what is exactly going on because I want to keep it a secret. Just know it's related to my hood. Also, more good news, I have a CRV here in the driveway and there's another car in front of it. I'm not going to reveal what it is yet. That being said, I just bought a brand new car. So go ahead and stick around for that. If you like the progress we're making, go ahead and like, subscribe, and I really appreciate it.